Hello to all gamers. Sorry, I was eating a sausage. You know what? It, eating the sausage, by the way, it got me thinking. There's nothing like more unnerving in like a monster movie than when like a little, maybe like a kid is running away from the monster and they go, ha, 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 and then they, they get into a safe room and they close the door behind them, but then they realize they're not in a safe room. It's actually the kitchen. And then there's like a big monster with like a chef's hat and an apron. And he's going like, hur, hur, hur. and he's taking like big, like wet over myself. And then I'll have a wet shirt for the rest of the stream. Well, because I'm trying to drink it too fast. We try to not drink too fast. Well, that, I, have this, I have copious hydration needs. <laughs> Love you. There was no reply on that one. That hurts. Okay, she said, she just waited a second. She just wanted me to point out that she hadn't said it, and then she said it. <laughs> Does Canada have daylight savings time? Don't get me started, okay? Yo, Pog! Thank you. My other full water bottle. This one was almost completely depleted from my 30-minute Dennis Morton climb ride. Then you have to choose which one you think is either longer in text or which one has more views in like the last 90 days. And then after we get, um, we, we have our fill of this, I think that I'm gonna play some Cook Serve Delicious 3 because we brought it up yesterday and then today I was trying to think of what to play and I was like, you know what, I think that would be fun. <clears throat> I played Cook Serve Delicious 3 at PAX 2019 and was like, this game looks great. I, I played one and two, like a reasonable amount. And then um, I looked at Steam, I played one hour of Cook Serve Delicious 3 in January 2020. What? I gotta put a little bit more time into that, man. Aren't you in it? Yeah! That long. Even though TV on the radio album names are like four words long, how many do they have? Like a max of like 15, 20? Or the history of women in labor unions? I'm going, um, I'm going longer on women in labor unions. This is incalculable to me. How is it possible that the TV and the radio discography is longer than the history of women in labor unions? P-Series fuels are a family of renewable non-petroleum liquid fuels that can substitute for gasoline. The blend of methyl tetrahydrofuran, ethanol, and hydrocarbon constitute the P-Series fuel. There's a lot of engineering students that might Wikipedia something while they're like, you know, going through their coursework. On the other hand, you've also got Friedrich Graf von den Schulenberg. P-Series fuels. That was so much closer than I thought it would be. I, w I also would have gone longer, to be fair. Like, I would have thought that... Because biographies tend to be longer, I think, than scientific articles. If, if it's a person of some noteworthiness, at least. Amit Dada? Um, don't do that if you're uh, putting the... the amit, um, amit Dada? No, thank you. I'd rather have all of the... I, um, I'd rather have a, a, sorry, is a guitarist and producer from Kolkata. He's also a popular music composer. Now, is he a popular music composer or does he compose pop music? Well, he's widely acknowledged to be one of the most innovative guitarists around and toured extensively, ex extensively with the rock band Shiva or Children's Laureate a position initially awarded in the UK once every two years to a writer or illustrator of children's books to celebrate outstanding achievement in their field. Hey, why was the Scarecrow nominated for an award? Because it was outstanding in its field. <clears throat> I don't think anybody is going to look up the Children's Laureate on Wikipedia. I'm saying this is a mit data. Wrong. There was actually abysmal... I got a total score of one. I got one right and three wrong. So let's pay out the doubters and run it back. I honestly thought this would be like a guarantee. I would have bet like 80% believe 20 was Veracruz, no disrespect. And I feel like Feyenoord's season could be longer. 
I'm like an A and E. I'm going A on this one though. It was it was not A and E. In fact, it was not even close. It was A and Q. But you know what? Whatever. E Sul B was also known as her ex stage name Ga Wan is a South Korean actress or the Ulu child sexual exploitation scandal. I'm going to say that Isol B has more views, and I'm going to get this off the screen as soon as possible. Alex T's on. By the way, we're, we're already at 1 HP. Was a Filipino-American author, Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist. His book, Big Little Man, or Saline Valley Hot Springs, located in the remote, sometimes more viewed. I'm stunned that... It's only 32,000 people have looked at this in like the last 90 days. Not everybody out there, uh, Wikipedia is every song they listen to that is noteworthy enough to have its own Wikipedia article. It's literally 1984. And dude, this one's for all the marbles. Yusaka Kumadevu, I'm so sorry. I just, I, Yusaku Kumadevu or I suck. <laughs> you my devil <laughs> I'm, so, I can't say it. I'm sorry I, I'm trying this is a genuine I'm genuinely trying okay ninja zombie thank you thank you for the gifted subscriptions thank you is a creature from Zulu mythology she's a bearded bloated monster who eats every living thing she comes across they have a monster based on your mom Said to have a husband of the same name? That's gotta be confusing. Or Roger Williams University, a private university in Bristol, Rhode Island, named for theologian and Rhode Island co-founder Roger Williams. Bro, there's no way. I, ha I have to believe that Roger Williams University has a longer article. Like, look, we did it! What what else are you gonna say about this monster that you didn't say in the first paragraph? Like, they told the whole story in, in the first 50 words. Whereas Roger Williams University, I'm sure it's like, founding, and then some old dude did something, and they placed a single stone in the ground. That stone is now where the student union building is, you know? Like... Three confirmed deaths. So true. Controversies. Notable alumni. One newscaster. History longer. Two pretty close ones, to be honest. Bat. Bat. By the way, John Lennon said the Beatles are more popular than Jesus Christ. Well, Mr. Lennon, take a look at this. 2022 Japanese military history more popular than the Beatles which are more popular than Jesus Christ it goes Jesus Christ the Beatles Ashigaru light of foot infantry employed during the Ashikaga Shogunate of the Muromachi period cryo is from the ancient Greek kryos Ice, icy, cold, chill, frost. Okay, uses of the prefix cryo or good group of users. That's funny because Neo Geography sounds like the name of an album that annoying people try to get me to listen to. Or The Book of the Unnamed Midwife, a post-apocalyptic feminist novel written by American author Meg Ellison, published in 2014 by Sybaritic Press. It won the Philip K. Dick Award for Distinguished Science Fiction. That's, that's a noteworthy award. But neo-geography, on the other hand, that's like geography is the subject that they teach in schools. So maybe some people found themselves on neo-geography by accident. This is a tough one for me. Like A or D, I don't know. And that's going to have more views than It Girl. But a book written by two noteworthy filmmakers versus a concept that people might be like, what the heck is an It Girl? Who was the first It Girl? What's the history? 
can understand that. Denver Pioneers men's soccer, a, a Division I men's soccer team, or Anno 1800, which is a very well-known, liked video game. I gotta go D on this one. That, that was not even close. Okay. Well, we're on six. We need to get four right with no skips. Flora Yuknovich is a British painter known for her contemporary interpretation of the Rococo painting style. Okay. A British painter who is more accomplished than me despite being two years younger. Or we merch your honor and decorum. It's just like, I, I don't know what you're, I don't know who's wikipedia this. It just seems crazy. Jacques-Fabien Gautier d'Agoti, a French anatomist, painter, and printmaker. I miss the days where you could be like a renaissance man. Nowadays, you got to do like 20 years of school, and you're like, I'm a neo-geographer. That's it. I don't even bake bread. I don't have time for that. Back in the day, if you were like a smart guy, you could be like an artist, an engineer, an inventor, a doctor. You could do it all. And you died when you were like 47. Sash discography. The discography of Sash, a German DJ. In 1996, Sash released It's My Life, which became a European club hit. Is, it the, is this the song from a Korean movie on popularity? I'm more betting that a 34-year-old former NFLer has a longer article. Because in the movie articles, they don't want to put spoilers. Damien Cook is a former Australian professional rugby league footballer who plays as a what? He's not former, by the way. I don't know where that came from. He plays as a what? The, for the South Sydney Rabbitohs in the NRL. Or Muhammad I of Cordoba. He was the Umayyad Emir of Cordoba from 852 to 886. That's a long career, man. In the Al Andalus Moorish Iberia. Okay. This is with all disrespect um, at all. I'm going to say county court is longer. I'm going Q. <laughs> really? It's so close. The murder of Yun Gumi. A murder case at a camp town in Dongducheon, Gyeonggi, South Korea. Okay, so a horrible murder case. Or a small circular biscuit that originated in Egypt and is eaten across the Arab world to celebrate Eid al-Fitr and Easter. Hmm. I'm going to say... Say what? Oh, yeah, it is cock. It is, it is said cock. <laughs> I feel like I want to say that uh, cock is longer because the font is smaller. But I think that's my brain playing tricks on me. I also feel like articles about food, sometimes they're like a paragraph and sometimes it's actually like the length of a novel. It's like the history. Originally... Cock was in uh, a cock precursor was found in the historical record as a uh, the Egyptians that were building the pyramids of of Franklin and Bash. The Bologna Central Railway Station. I I can't I there's too many jokes in my head right now. The Bologna Central Railway Station. Oh mean you mean your mom's bed? <laughs> Sorry, this is funny. It's not even funny. But it is kind of funny, actually, now that I think about it. Or Marcelino Navarra, a Filipino Visayan editor, poet, and writer from Cebu. Regarded as the father of modern Cebuano short story. Oh, he's the father of that. Um... Or a, an Italian railway station at the edge of countries by Avocado Production or David Webster Footballer. Currently plays for the League of Ireland Premier Division Club Finn Harps. Is that like the George Glass of Ireland? 
Like if you made up that you had a boyfriend, you would look around your house and be like, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, his name is Finn. Finn Harpglass. Anyway, sorry. Peter Griffin. So true. He previously played for Waterford for a season. Spent three seasons at the Shamrock Road. Listen, Ireland, I'm trying to be... I'm trying to maintain some decorum. He's an Irish footballer. Look at his clubs. He perfy, whatever. They wanted me to know how to pronounce his name. They should have called him Greg. Below is a list of Burgermeisters of Amsterdam, capital of the Netherlands. The city had four Burgumasters serving four years. And then in the 17th and 18th century, a new mayor was elected by his colleagues, co-option, but his appointment had to be approved by, I can only assume, the Lord of the Fries. I, this, it's got to be... Dude, Amsterdam has been around for... at least 50 years. I got to go with E on this one in terms of length. This is like... I, I think we're shooting the moon on this one. The Kew Gardens Interchange... It's a complex, complex junction in Kew Gardens in the center of New York City borough of Queens, serving nearly 600,000 vehicles daily. Or lexico statistics, a method of comparative linguistics that involves comparing the percentage of lexical cognates between languages to determine their relationship. Okay. I feel like it's got to be A. I bet people get stuck in this thing all the time and then get mad and tell the passenger to Google what the fuck's going on with this interchange and they find themselves on the Wikipedia article. I'm going A. Ah! Never mind. <clears throat> the Taizen Deshimaru, a Japanese Soto Zen Buddhist teacher. Or The Return of Sherlock Holmes. A 1929 American pre-code mystery film directed by Basil Dean and written by Arthur Conan Doyle. It's gotta be D. What? I'm fading. Sherlock Holmes lost? Hold on. Scrote is a minimalist command line screen capturing application. Sorry, let me work, work on my cadence. Scrote is a minimalist command line screen capturing application. It allows substantial degree of flexibility by specifying parameters on the command line, including the ability to invoke a third party utility to manipulate the resulting screenshot. Or the weak mixing angle or Weinberg angle is a parameter in the Weinberg Salam theory of the electro weak interaction, part of the standard model of Puce. The result of this operation quickly removes all data from a table, typically bypassing a number of integrity enforcing. That sounds good. Or the Earl of Coventry, a title that has been created twice in the peerage of England. I'm not going to read all that, just to be honest with you. I'm going more views on Truncate's sequel. We won! I didn't know that was the last one. <clears throat> Way more people learning about sequel than the, the peerage of Coventry or whatever it's called. In the modern era. Yeah, why do you even need truncate? Can't you just type like delete spaced asterisk and then like, you know, log out for the day? 4.59 p.m. I'm just, just let me commit that real quick. Delete asterisk from. So true. 16 is a pop song released in 1961 by Neil Sadaka. That shit has got to be... Mighty inappropriate, circa 2022. Let me just go take a look here. Happy birthday, sweet 16 lyrics, Neil Sadaka. Tonight's the night you've waited for because you're not a baby anymore. You've turned into the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Happy birthday, sweet 16. What happened to that funny face? My little tomboy now wears satins and lace. I can't believe my eyes. You're just a teenage dream. Happy birthday, sweet 16. When you were only six, I was your big brother. Then you were 10, we didn't like each other. When you were 13, you were my funny Valentine. But you, since you've grown up, your future is sewn up. From now on, you're going to be mine. So, if I should smile with sweet surprise... It's just that you've grown up before my very eyes. You've turned into the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Happy birthday, sweet 16. S substantially worse than 
even my lowest possible expectations could have been. It, it sounds like, uh, end quote, Your Honor, is the only way you could end that. Or Air Train JFK, an 8.1 mile long elevated people mover system and airport rail link serving John F. Kennedy International Airport. The driverless system, it's a conveyor belt! No, wait, a people mover, it's not a conveyor belt, it's a train. Sorry. <laughs> I have no idea all I know. Regardless, I don't know. Nobody's looking up the Brit Awards 2013 in 2022. But that article could be long as hell. But do I really want to bet against Bio? I'm not betting against Bio. The dude was 87. Give me longer on the on Rimsky Korsakov. Why? I'm doing one more. I have to I have to give it a better attempt. I've only got 3 total wins. The Northern Front East Africa 1940, okay? Or Pranav Mishra, an Indian film actor. I say Give me linguistic longer. Uh, Solo Vare is a brand of British made boots or Hubie Brooks, an American former professional baseball right fielder. Third base. He played 15 years in the MLB. I'm going more views on baseball. Okay, we gotta run one more. <laughs> that went fast. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My points? Pressure, Billy Joel song, or a professional supercross racer. Dude, it hit number 20 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. Give me more views on Billy Joel. Huge. Linferno, a ninth Norfolk, or historical cost. In accounting, listen, all I need to see is in accounting, comma, and I'm going longer on accounting. Actual easiest guess of my life. Neil Walk was an American college and professional basketball player who played in the NBA for eight seasons. Should have called him Neil Jump. Or Harold Meyerson, an American journalist, opinion columnist, and socialist. Not socialite. In 2009, the Atlantic Monthly named him one of the most influential commentators of the nation. I would give him... I'm giving... This is an E and a D, in my opinion. But I'm going to say that it's... <laughs> I took the Neil Walk to Poland. Versus a Japanese four-character idiom that describes a cultural concept of treasuring the unrepeatable nature of a moment. The term has been translated for this time only. I'm going longer on the debut album. Oh, what a, what a horrible guess. The Buffalo Creek Flood, An Act of Man, is a 1975 documentary produced by Apple Shop. I've heard of Apple Pay. I've never heard of Apple Shop. Ah, yes, it's about the Buffalo Creek Flood, an incident that occurred on February 26, 1972, when the Pittston Coal Company's coal slurry impoundment dam in Logan County, West Virginia, burst. Or Robert Lentz, an American Franciscan friar. There's a, a living... Franciscan friar? I thought this is something you could only be in like the 1400s. I don't even know what that means. It's like a monk, right? It's like a Christian monk. It's like one of those guys that wears a, a tunic with like a little rope to keep it on. And they read a lot of books. They putter around and they read a lot of books. Yes. Okay. He's currently stationed. He belongs to the Order of Friars Minor. So he's not even that good at it. 
and he's currently stationed in Holy Name Province. I don't know, man. Give me longer on the Friar. That was a scary one, though. Basin and Range Province, a vast physiographic region covering much of the inland United States and northwestern Mexico. Or Alex Pardee, who did the artwork for the used albums. I'm going the used. Not even close! Egg Tempera is a permanent fast-drying painting medium consisting of colored pigments mixed with a water-soluble binder medium, typically glutinous material such as egg yolks. Me, when I order Tempura and I get Tempera? What the hell? Or George Waddell, an American pitcher. Well, he doesn't have... He can't be that good. He didn't have a nickname. You played in the major leagues in the 1800s or they didn't call you like... Oh, I guess his name was Rube. Like, it's George Edward Waddell, also known as Rube. I'm going more views on Rube Waddell. All right, I'm ass. I'm pure ass. I'm not saying who cares. I'm not doing it to make you feel bad. It's not about you. I'm doing it because I needed some water. I was getting thirsty. Drink what I want from the bottle I got because I got it. You can mute me if you don't want to hear when I slurp it. Pray to say I told you so. <clears throat> Sorry. Hello, Kate. Hello. Please rein in your husband. He's off the rails. I'm bringing the walk to Poland for real. Kate, I'm playing Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. It's crazy, right? I just felt like my brain is obviously working at uh, peak efficiency right now. Let's play something to saturate like every neuron. Yo, this song kind of goes hard, though. It should be sounding like the age of ads for real. okay this makes you want to croon it you know what would go really nice over top of this who rocks the body rocks the body come on take down down them they turn the beat who rocks the body rocks the body come on get down something to boot out the body who does the body we rock the body rock the body come on get started. I was trying to think of what would be the worst possible message there. Is this Bill Dipperly? I'm just gonna call this Walk Wednesday. Why not? But like W O K? Quick, okay? It's basically like played up, but you don't have to do any of the um, Factorio stuff. Also, I'm a gameplay Andy, okay? So like this I, I remember the story of Cooks are Delicious 3. The There's this a, a, a war has happened in the United States. All of Minnesota is on fire over here as you can see. We're driving a food truck across the ruins of the United States, okay? That's all you need to know. In the next day, get ready because I hope you enjoyed the sweet sounds of voice acting. Because from this point onwards, you know what you're going to hear. Um, PSCVR. PSCVR. PSCV. PSCVR. PSCV. PSCVR. Okay. Hello, chef. Good luck today. Okay, I'm getting ready. I, hold on. I believe I need to move my my. We'll, we'll just add in a grilled chick, a grilled cheese sandwich in there for whatever reason. Okay, we're ready to go. <clears throat> Japche. I don't really like um, Japche that much. The first time I I had dinner with Kate's mom, she made Japche for me, and out of politeness, I said, "Wow, this is really good." 
And somehow that became like, I became known as the guy who loves Japche. So every time I came over, they were always like, we got you Japche because we know you love it so much. After like four years, I finally had to like break it to Kate that was like, I was like, I don't like Japche that much actually. If they're, if they're really going out of their way to, to make the Japche, they, uh, you can politely let them know that I'm not that Japche pilled anymore. Sorry. It's okay, like it's safe here. I'm gonna serve you on number six and then also I'm gonna get some more chicken strips going. There you go, we're just waiting on them. We're just waiting on them. We're just studying it. You know how dogs is and all that. Look at that service, man. Look at that service. And just one more chicken strips order. I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm sorry. We, we miscalculated a little bit, check that out. All done, day complete, perfect score. Is gold good? Is gold as high as it can go? Wow, a perfect run. A perfect run. I like the sound of that. Wait, but why is nobody ecstatic? Why are they all merely pleased? The corn, what do we need? We're gonna need some corn. I don't know, might as well make it in abundance. Serve them. We need some more salad! Three. I could have given up on that one. Serve them. Number six. Time. 117 delicious combo. Silver medal! What happened? Some One person got like old corn. One person, one snob. We could try a lot harder. Oh, you made one mistake on day one. I bet I served someone some slightly fucked up ceviche, which is a food you don't want to mess up, if possible. That's, that's food poisoning waiting to happen. You put almonds into someone's? Oh, no. That, that could be a real problem, too. Quite frankly because I don't have the necessary mental throughput to deal, I didn't put sugar on their beignets as a result of my banter. We need more beignets, by the way. Okay, these ones, I'm not gonna mess them up, okay? My beignets. Hey, I used to love this place. I had 25 five-star interactions with this place. It was my favorite restaurant. Then they mildly screwed up my order one time and that's why I'm giving them a one-star on Google reviews. How disrespectful of them. No, I'm not resetting for one imperfect. That's no big deal. I'm not sweating that. Okay, let me let me toss the beignets. Let me toss the chicken nuggets. I'm even going to toss the donuts. I'll give you a fresh batch because I feel bad. Oh my god, they want 17 donuts? That's impossible. I'm sorry to tell you that's not possible. Five. Let's, let's get them all going. Okay, how do you... Meat flatten. Veggie mix, roll, and bread them. That looks delicious. Meat, flatten, potato mix, roll, and bread them. Two sets of taro leaves, seasoned meat, wrap, and cook. Ready to go. Oh, I boxed it up too early. Throw it in the trash. They're gonna, I gotta restart. They're gonna hate me. They're gonna get horrible food poisoning from eating uncooked pork. All right, chef. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, run me back, run me back. That's, that's my mistake, okay? I'm sorry. The menu looks a little easier today anyway. It's all BPC on this, right? Two sets of taro leaves, meat wrap, no problem. Need to go at all times. The pig's blood is insanely easy to make. It's made instantly, so get the chimichangas going. Too sweet and we're ready to go. You're a KSU. I... You're an MF. <laughs> Sorry, no offense. Wrap them up. It's an LLMW. Wrap them up. Give me some more. I'm ready. Wrap them up. Wrap them up. There's a KSU. Don't even get me started. You don't want brown sugar on your bratwurst? I'm sorry. Don't come to my food truck. You're a KSU, okay? Get ready. Here we go. Oh, get ready. Look at this. What do you want? CQUS. Okay, send them. Give me some more pig's blood. Send them. Send them and give me some more pig's blood. Now we want a number one. You're going to be a CRUS. You're going to be a CRUS. You want two prime ribs. 
That's prime rib sauce seasoning. Okay, that's the easiest thing in the world. Turkey slices. It's even easier. Frozen bananas. We need banana, we need nuts, then we close the door. Then hot dog. Eight wieners. Put your wieners out on the grill. We need bobas, we need ice, we need coconut, and we need to seal it, okay. Halfway. Halfway and I'm feeling good. But you know, the hot dogs, are, we're going to need to dress them like crazy. That's what I'm scared of. And the prime rib probably has to be sauced or something. But I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm not sweating it. What do you want? Boba's ice, blueberries. That's usually L and then seal me. Duck. Okay. What is it in Korean? I don't know. Oh, duck in Korean? That's Ori. She goes, Ori. I got it. Hold up a picture of a chicken. What's this? It's chicken. What is it in Korean? I don't know. Oh, in chicken? This shit is duck. Get ready. Life comes at you fast, kiddo. Sorry, not in chicken, in Korean. The bit was a little cerebral, even for me. Oh, I'm not worried about the prep stations. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm not worried about the damn prep stations. It's a recycled bit? Yeah, but I made it in the first place, so I can recycle it. If anybody steals that shit, that's recycled. I'm reusing the bit. And I will not be sure. We just got to make it through today, okay? Give me some stuff we know we can make, okay? I don't know. Toss me some tandoori chicken. They should team up with Subway to make a, a Subway DLC. But then it could be some, like, Ender's Game shit where you're, like, making Subway sandwiches that are coming in from online orders. You find out later, like, after you win Employee of the Month that you've been controlling, like, a sandwich-making robot somewhere in Indianapolis the whole time. Listen, I don't know what Balenciaga is, but add it to the menu. I'm ready. Five-point menu. Six was too much. Five, maybe too easy. Good to see you, too. I'm sorry about all this, how, how quickly I got in the weeds yesterday. I'd like to apologize. Let me just get some dongo real quick. Okay, that's fine. And some tandoori.